We've always been a pretty scorecard-centric culture here in developer division at Microsoft. We looked at bug counts and we looked at, you know, hey, what, what, how are we doing on loc across all these teams or, or various elements of our business? Do we have a lot of customer support incidents? You know, things like that. And I feel like now with our service on the cloud, we have so much more data possible to and so many new things to think about in terms of uh, how our product and how our customers are, are um, experiencing our product, that it's been really important to create scorecards to say, this is the data that we care about. Like, this is the way to focus people. So we, we have scorecards for our business goals. We call them monthly service reviews. They include health scorecards. They include um, new customers we've acquired through our marketing campaigns or websites, uh, their conversion into real usage, their retention over time, uh, if we lose them, what the analysis is there. And so that's like, that's our business level. Uh, we also have them at the feature level. I deploy a new feature. Are people using them? Is it, are they using the feature? If not, you know, like how many people are repeat users? So we have scorecards around the feature usage. And then we have, you know, scorecards around, you know, the live site process. How long is it taking us to resolve incidents? Are, are we finding it through our own detection and diagnostic uh, measures? Or are we, uh, are, are we finding them through CSS or, you know, real customer experiencing it? So we, we measure that very closely as well. And then we have scorecards on what we call engineering debt, which is... Um, corners that were cut in order to deliver something on time, which is, you know, I'd like to say we never, ever, ever have to do that because that's what we, that's the goal. But what happens is, yeah, we shipped that feature with some known bugs that we knew we had to fix. Or um, we shipped that feature and uh, we know that there's, um, there's uh, several content changes on the website still needing to be done. Or, um, or we know that we have um, some live site issues in an area that we have some preventative ideas is on how to deal with them. Uh, so we roll all that up into an engineering debt scorecard to make sure that we, uh, we balance that with the backlog and we're not overly focused on value delivery because um, reliability uh, is all, and performance is also a huge customer value that we, we need them to take for granted. If you throw up a scorecard uh, and there's red on it, like our, you know, it's just the culture of the team to go, why is that red? Okay, let's go get that down, you know. So uh, by metricing our, you know, health and and our progress and our, um, you know, our business goals and all of that, uh, people see the trend lines, people see the red, and they're energized about how can I go make that better? Uh, so I think in general, uh, it's going to help us uh, deliver a better product to customers, both quality, reliability, uh, as well as um, focused on features that customers care about.